Last match, final match, the main event of ECW Heat Wave on July 16th, 1994 was a barbed wire match between ECW Tag Team Champions Public Enemy, Rock or Rock, Johnny Grunge. I became a big fan of Public Enemy. I thought they were a great team. It's so... <sighs> disturbing, unfortunate that we lost both of those guys. They were a great tag team come out of ECW. I, I, I became a, I, I became a big fan of theirs. I really did. You know, it, it's so upsetting that they were gone they're gone now. Um, they go and they go against one of the most legendary tag team led tag team one of the most legendary wrestlers in the history of wrestling. The only brothers to have ever won the NWA World Championship, Terry Funk and Dory Funk Jr. Barbed wire match. Now apparently they they, they they had a rivalry, but you know one 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 of the, one of the main fans of these fans had they call him Sign Guy, and they said this barbed wire matches are how you settle things in ECW. <laughs> Joey Styles. Well, the thing the way he describes matches, the carnage of a barbed wire match. Um, first one, Public Enemy approached the um, you no know, the Funk Brothers approached and he got in the ring first. And then Public Enemy, they first approached ringside. Then they backed off and they went to climb up what's, I guess, um, on Hardcore TV, Joker Styles would call it the Crow's Nest, if I'm not mistaken, this upper stairway. And they stood there and they were lo overlooking the ring. I was not sure why they did that. Then they came back out. Eventually, they all got in the ring and... Uh, they were very at first very careful of approaching the barbed wire, very very careful, you know. And then it was Public Enemy, it was uh, uh, Rock or Rock. Uh, he uh, man, the way he way he the way he grabbed on the way he his, his arms is you know his his way he was thrown at times he was thrown over over the top of the barbed wire. He got hooked up in a barbed wire so much early in the early in the match. Oh, uh, it became you know it's the barbed wire was slow to to start up you know. But before this match started, before the t no, TV um, began, can't, began recording this match, um, we were watching the referee uh, wrap the barbed wire. Around. <laughs> he, whomever was the referee, because he, I know he had gloves on, wrapping the wire around the, the ring posts. They didn't do a very good job of wrapping that barbed wire up. Not will it wasn't really stable. Not not really. Um, but. It became so because the barbed wire was not wrapped up. It was kind of stable. It was strong enough to hold for a while, but eventually, when each of these wrestlers began going over, going over, being uh, with their arms and being, they, oh my god, they were they began. They didn't do much of like trying to scrape it against their foreheads, way Dusty Rhodes or others were are. M more known for using barbed wire matches in like Florida or Crockett, whomever back in the early 80s, 70s, they usually would scratch to grab the barbed wire into their foreheads very quickly. Um, they were going, they were flipping over, over the, over the, like, and not, it was a no rope barbed wire match, and they were flipping over in their arms, their hair, their, they, oh my god, they were screaming in pain. Oh my god, it's, it's way, you know, Joey Sell kept saying it, it, it was carnage, and in, I, I was describing the Shane Douglas Sabu match, at, you know, and the uh, Sandman Tommy Cairo sing, uh, Singapore caning as extreme as hardcore. This barbed wire match was is it, this whole show was was you no know, a really focal point of how hardcore this company was showing itself to be, and this barbed wire match was <laughs> pure example. Oh my God! <laughs> okay, then comes what turns out to be the, one of the most famous incidents in the history of ECW, and they and the moment they added it into the e, ECW Hardcore TV, the um, the intro of the show, the intro of the the introduction of ECW its show, the the chair throwing. When, when, when it, what happened was, um, after Terry Funk had, I believe he piled, was, was it Johnny Grunge? He piled a Johnny Grunge or Rock or Rock. I'm not sure on that. Terry Funk with a piled right, but the thing is, he wanted a chair. He wanted the piled right guy on a chair, started hitting him with a chair. Um, 
he called for a chair, and a chair got thrown. One chair got thrown in. Terry Funk starts going like this. <laughs> the whole entire arena, the the fans were throwing chairs. It was raining chairs. I was there. <laughs> I was gonna turn around and grab my chair. This is what happened when my chair. No, my my dad. Okay, I'm gonna go grab my chair. I turn around. It's already gone. So I grabbed my chair already. <laughs> It was ring chairs. Even Terry Funk and all and, and whomever was in the ring, they got clobbered. They got buried in chairs. Holy cow! This incident was added to. I said it was added to the TV. It's a hardcore TV intro. It was one of the most legendary moments in ECW history. The chairs throwing. <laughs> Todd Gordon, you can hear on the microphone. Stop throwing chairs. <laughs> It's the fans. Terry Funk. Oh, he just wait. He would say. He said, "Like who won one chair? Every chair so came in the ring. It was it was incredible." <laughs> and Joey Stark came. It's this. It's it's it's, it's, it's just the Philadelphia fans. It's the ECW arena. What do you expect? We're they were crazy. We're crazy. They're crazy. These fans were crazy. <laughs> um. But eventually, it, it, man, they were getting clobbered by chairs, and eventually they, they made, it, it was, uh, something happened where uh, Rock O' Rock and, and, the, and the Funks, they were fighting out into the, out toward this one long part of the aisle, out to the front doors, out the, um, the gate, the main gate out front on Rock, on Swanson and Whitner, out the front. They were fighting out there. They came back in, and then Terry Funk, he, uh, uh, he got pushed onto the barbed wire. His hair got caught in the barbed wire. And Rock O' Rock, I think, um, they started wrapping Terry Funk in barbed wire, his whole body. Then they wrapped him up, a t then they wrapped a, um, a, a trash can applied around the barbed wire. They applied that. But Rock, and then Rock O' Rock, Tawny Guns, they climbed, they climbed up on top of Terry Funk and covered him. Two of them covered Terry Funk and pinned him and they retained the ECW Tag Tales, defeated the Funks. But the Funks were not done. Um, then, then, uh, Dory Funk came in and he started, and T Terry Funk still got the, the trash can applied to his chest with a barbed wire and are throwing Rocco, Rock and, and Johnny Grudge smacked into, into, the, into the trash can itself. Wow. One of the, it, it was the, the mo one of the most wildest, blood, bloodiest, craziest, <laughs> credible, carnage, hardcore, easy to be match. That has got to be seen. To believe, to, to believe it, you, you could see it in person or you could see it on TV. This was crazy. It was extreme. <laughs> it lived up what ECW would become. It was a definitely, it was definitely an example of what ECW was was going to become. Uh, wow! And then, he, and then Terry Funk. Um, once he he got out, you no. Know, once he got out of the ring, they had uh, had um, the. I think he had bar uh, barbed wire cutters, and he was hitting. You know, I think he uh, he was hitting one one of the one of the one of the public enemy with it. But he when he got out, he was so covered in barbed wire. He handed it to one of the fans, and they were they were each some fans were cutting the barbed wire away from Terry Funk. He was so covered in it. Wow, the barbed wire match, public enemy and and the Funks. I mean, wow, what a way to end ECW Heat Wave.